Oh my gosh. They're here. I'm so excited. What? This feels like Christmas. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cool. Amazing. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most Monica Vinader boxes ever. My bridesmaids gifts have just arrived this week i am going to be asking some of my favorite people ever to be my bridesmaids i by the way i am i'm having a bad day so i already feel like i am super emotional today so i'm like crying because i'm really happy and excited right now but i've also just been like fully sobbing because i think by now you will probably understand my stress because this video is probably going to go up a little bit later because of the way i'm filming it but you'll probably know by now i have started wedding planning and that's not the reason i'm crying that's not the thing that is tipping me over the edge but something just happened today and it's just been a lot and normally i wouldn't vlog <laughs> oh my god i can't believe i'm actually like fully i'm not okay today wow normally i wouldn't vlog on days like today i would leave it and just start fresh but i actually like my bridesmaids gifts have arrived just in time for me to actually ask like, i'm seeing one of the one of my girls that i want to ask today and i don't know when i'll see her again this month to ask her and i want to be able to ask her kind of like in line with everyone else like there's three of the girls that i'm seeing and i'm gonna see all of them for dinner for my birthday three out of four of them i'm seeing for dinner for my birthday so i really want to be able to ask those three before we all go out to dinner so that like everyone that is at that dinner has been asked so no one like talks about it and someone else feels left out even though they shouldn't feel left out but i just haven't had a chance to ask them and then my final bridesmaid i'll be asking when i see her later this month but unfortunately she wasn't free this weekend but yeah today i'm going to be asking bridesmaid one of four to be my bridesmaids and this is very early on but I just really want to get that done and dusted just so that I can start planning things a little bit earlier. I like to be very well organised. Lots of you will probably know already I used to work in events and have a very overactive brain which lent me very well to working in events but it just means that I am like I was born for this kind of stuff and I've been really excited for this period in my life to be able to do this and just yeah I'm really excited about it so when I say bridesmaids they're low-key bridesmaids they're gonna have nothing to do I am not doing like everyone has different like tasks or anything like that like it's not gonna be a huge wedding with like multiple shindigs that kind of thing and I'm fully capable of, of just running my own wedding she says <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I don't really want to like put responsibilities onto anyone else, but I just want like a core group of girls that mostly I, I was almost not going to have bridesmaids. Sorry, this is gonna be super, this is gonna be a very long intro, but I was not going to have bridesmaids. I'm gonna put some makeup on whilst we do this because I feel, I feel disheveled. You know, when you've just had like a big cry and you're like, wow, I just need to like sort myself out. So I originally wasn't going to have bridesmaids i don't really like the kind of drama it can bring sometimes i didn't like i said i didn't need people to help me like organize anything i love organizing my own stuff when it comes to a hindu i've done lots of different types of events i've done corporate events i have done pr and marketing events i've also done stag and hindu events because of that i'm not a lover of your very traditional stag and hindus not to use ptsd out of context but i'm going to use it out of context i I have, I have past trauma. <laughs> when you have been screamed at by brides multiple times in a job that you hate, like if I was a wedding planner and I loved my job and someone was screaming at me, I'd probably be like, yeah, I chose this. But I hated that job. I hated it so much. Anyway, horrible company to work for, horrible job. And it made me hate stag and Hindu so much. Because of that, I just never really wanted a hen do i was always like no that will absolutely never be anything that i ever partake in ever 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 and then insert ryan's now sister-in-law she comes along and she says we're going to liverpool and i'm like oh no 
I don't want to do the traditional Hindu. I don't want to go to Liverpool. I don't want anything like that. Like it was via like a similar company to the one I used to work for. I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna fit in on this. I'm not gonna enjoy this. This is not gonna be my vibe. I loved it. I loved every second of it because it obviously was a group of girls that were like so lovely and it actually, ran really smoothly it all was amazing because the people made the experience and it made me want a hindu not in the traditional sense but previous to this i probably would have said mm, yes we'll go and do a spa day no shade on spa days i love a spa day and i would still love to do a spa day maybe we'll still manage to wiggle that in a, in some way it made me want to do something that's like a little bit closer to a traditional hindu i say that it will still be so far from your classic hindu it, that it won't look like a Hindu at all. But anyway, I know what I want. They won't be organizing that in any way, especially because of their jobs. I just don't feel like it's fair to ask them to organize anything. There is maybe one thing that someone will be tasked with, with that is in line with a more traditional Hindu, like an activity. But apart from that, they don't need to organize too much and they don't need to do too much. So for me, I didn't feel like I needed bridesmaids, but then I started thinking about who I want to have in the room with me on my wedding morning like who do i want with me to bring the vibes and that is how i came around to the idea of bridesmaids is they're not so much like your traditional bridesmaids they're more vibe setters <laughs> and i've picked each of them very carefully so yeah i have picked four girls i also started thinking about who i would get real fomo of if they weren't in the room with me i feel like because of that some of you are going to be able to guess immediately who i might be talking about so that is how i chose my bridesmaids just people that i absolutely adore and couldn't imagine not having with me on the day and i'm so excited to ask each of them i just it's just such a like lovely special moment i love each of them so much i just can't wait and i'm really excited about it i don't know why i'm actually putting makeup on because i honestly think tonight's might make me cry but i feel like i just need to put my game face on you know especially after the morning that i have had we're just gonna like pull ourselves together with a nice bit of armani eye tint god bless the armani eye tints because they truly are hiding the fact that my eyes are so puffy right now they are the best contour for your eyeballs so i'm going to finish putting the rest of my makeup on we're going to speed this up a little bit and then i will show you what i got each of them because i really wanted to get them a little gift and i really wasn't sure what to do and then i thought of something that just felt really i don't know just really right and i i'm so excited they just as you have seen they just arrived i'm just so so happy there's only one more that i need to finish myself basically what i wanted to write in victoria's was so rude that i couldn't give it to the pr to put on the inside so i will be taking care of that one myself so those have just arrived and then i also need to write like a little card and a message for them i got the cards last night a slightly unusual card for bridesmaids again it just felt very right and very me but yeah anyway let's get this makeup on and then we can get all of that sorted together <laughs> So these are my gifts for the girls from Monica Vinida. We also have the chains that go with them in these boxes. But you guys will know I love this locket from Monica Vinida. I've wanted it all year. They recently sent me one and I thought these would be the most gorgeous gifts for the girls. And I have also had engravings on the inside of each of them with just like things that we say to each other. There's something about the way that Amelia sits that just looks so perfect to me, but Naturally, she has tray exhaust day. And then Lauren has just living life. She actually got me a bangle that says this as well. So I thought that would be a nice little full circle moment. And then we have my sister-in-law to be. And hers just says, my sister. So cute. I just love it. And I love her. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to ask her. She's going to die. So I can't wait to give them these. Ooh, my hands are so veiny. Sorry about that. And then Monica Vinader have also given me gift bags so that I can package them all up. And I've got stickers, which is amazing as well. I don't know why I have so many stickers. So now all that is left to do is for me to package these up and to get Victoria's locket engraved and write their cards. I'm going to do most of that 
now and let's hope that the card writing goes okay <laughs> Okay, the cards are written. These are the cards I went with, which are slightly rogue for bridesmaid proposal cards. But basically everyone is so busy that I kind of feel bad asking them to be a bridesmaid, even though there is zero responsibility. But even so, just the mental tax that comes with, you know, being a bridesmaid and hyping me up on the morning of my wedding. It's a lot. So with my deepest sympathies, I am asking all these busy gals to be my bridesmaids and hopefully they say yes. I will love them endlessly for this because I don't know, I just love, I would love to get ready with them on the morning of my wedding. I just think that would be so fun. I can't wait. So hopefully they say yes. Okay, you guys, Lauren is here and, oh no, which one is hers? Oh, this one. Lauren is here and I am gonna ask her. I'm really nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, but here we go. Why are you so nervous? Oh no. <laughs> okay, fine. very early we have a lot to do today it's my birthday night out we have friends coming to stay we have friends coming over we literally have so much to pull together this morning and i need to vlog with you guys today is also the day that i am asking victoria and lucy to be my bridesmaids which i am really excited about slash nervous i'm actually having a slight problem with one of the bridesmaids to be she <laughs> is not a problem because I have solved it but it didn't really make sense for her to come to the house and meet me before we all meet when we're out so she was like I'm just gonna meet you there and I just knew that she wouldn't really want to be asked in front of everyone like I know this of literally all of the girls they would prefer to not be asked like in front of a large group of people so i want to make it as private as possible and i think like asking them in my home or their home is probably like the best option but she is just really digging her heels in about coming here before we all go out so i've had to ask her friend thank goodness for ellie i've had to ask ellie to basically lie and say that she needs to come here because she's forgot she's borrowing a bag which ellie does sometimes we do that i'm like oh yeah just take this bag on this like night out so it's it's a good lie it's a good believable lie and i think lucy's just a little bit annoyed now that she's like ellie you don't need to borrow a bag it's for like a night out and then you're gonna end up leaving at like 10 why you what what is happening so she's slightly confused but hopefully everything is gonna make sense and i have managed to get her to agree to coming here before we all go out and i will be paying that extra cab fare because i feel a bit bad so i hope they're both excited i hope they both say yes and i hope it's not too chaotic pre-warning it could be chaotic i hope it's not but it could be chaotic this evening because there's just going to be a lot of people in and out but hopefully i get the time to ask both of them yeah i can't wait anyway i need to go and pull myself together before you see me again later in my birthday vlog <laughs> hopefully i look slightly better than this i've got something for you what's this from monica vinegar or is it just in that bag no it's it's, it's from monica vinegar is it yeah. why have you got me a gift because it's nice it's all about you Yes, but no. With, with, with sympathy! <laughs> oh my god, he died! <laughs> oh, babe! Oh my god, that's so special! I'd love to! Oh my god! You're gonna make me cry! I love that! I'm gonna get you some tissue! Oh my god! Oh god, once you start her, she doesn't stop. <laughs> 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 oh 
will be doing karaoke and she'll still be crying. <laughs> I will. Oh my god, I'm singing Tina Turner as well. She always makes me cry. Oh my goodness, I did not expect this. I really was like, why have you got me a gift? I'm like, have I missed something? This is what happened. Oh my gosh. So, I saw this on your vlog. You can have it engraved. I wanted to put something really rude in it and then I chickened out. <laughs> And then I was like, I could go to a jewellery engraver, but then what if she's like, you told a lo another living soul that that's what you nicknamed me. <laughs> no, I oh won't be god. your bridesmaid. I would have lo actually loved that suit. Oh my god, I love it. Thank you so much. I'm really, really honoured you've asked me. This is gorgeous. Oh, it's so cute. I loved it in your vlog when you were wearing it. it was oh so god. cute. Look at this. Love you. Love you. Oh, I'm still holding it. Let go. <laughs> Let it go. Oh Guess what? It's your birthday. Okay. In some Aww. cultures, they like to give gifts on their birthday. <laughs> oh, okay, I like this. <laughs> I'm dying at the bottom of the car. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I'm about to ask you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> explain this story because this one was trying to meet me at the restaurant later and I had to message Ellie and be like make her come to my house I was like I'm borrowing a bag from Susie and you're like no you're not you've bought a handbag I'm like no 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 another one and she's like yeah I'm like okay well I'm not going to pay for the taxi I was like I'll pay for the taxi make her come here thank you thank you it's doing the most Yay! Oh, I forgot that's why we're oh here. My God. Ignore that, that's the sticker oh, okay. that I forgot to put on. Okay. Well, maybe I'll wear it with my outfit. So. <laughs> oh my God, this is so special. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, this Open is so it. What, oh what does it say? Oh my God, no. <laughs> it's my sister. She's going to cry. Yeah, I didn't think about this with the makeup. Do you want tissue? Good morning. It is Monday. It's been a little while since I last saw you. There have been zero bridesmaid related activities since my last check-in, but today we are going to London and I am seeing potential bridesmaid number four. And I say potential because she might say no. She might say no. And to be honest, I wouldn't blame her because she has got a lot of weddings on her plate this year. Bless her. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this. She made a list, a little manifesting list, and she put a lot of her friends' engagements on it, which is just so sweet and shows the kind of person that she is, that she cares that much about other people, that she's putting other people on her, like, list of things to manifest it is she's literally the cutest that the girl's got a lot of weddings this year and i honestly wouldn't blame her if she was like no this is too much for me i actually can't take this on but i can't leave her out we are asking her anyway and i really do hope that she says yes <laughs> even if she says no i hope she enjoys her gift either way because she has to accept that so today i have a lunch to go to with lumine and i'm going to see her after so i'm gonna bring you along for the whole day I'm nearly ready i just need to do my hair and get dressed and then we are off to London. We'll be downstairs on the right and making up. Amazing, thank you. Oh look at this. This is nice. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My partner in crime. It's touch and go for a minute there, babe. We were holding our breath. We're like, are we next to each other? Are we not? It's like Christmas in here. This is nice. We're reunited. I'm so happy. We have a full house and Victoria is hosting this lunch for the Lumine. I'm really excited to try some of their products. I actually haven't tried it. Look good in that style. You're gonna love these. I know these. This blush looks really nice. That's the highlight. 
Oh my god, this is funny. I need a new highlighter, so I'm excited to try this. We can try some of this out tomorrow. That's like a pink highlight. There's also a golden highlight too. And then there's also a lighter pink blush as well. But honestly, they're so amazing. The skincare is out of this world. Moisturizer. I can't believe you never tried it. I know. Because it's such a staple for me. I always just think everyone else tries it. Because my skin was, I don't know if you can hear me. Hopefully you can. It's because my skin was so bad and I never used to put new stuff on it. But now that it's good again, I can like use the stuff. So I'm excited to try like, try it with their like moisturizer. Because your skin always looks so good. Yeah, well, that's the thing with this. I, I have really sensitive skin and this never breaks me down. It's always amazing, super glowy. It's like fix so much of my complexion. You're gonna love it! Brighton helps with aging. It's vegan, it's 96% natural, and it also has 19% upcycling. It's not even my face. I'm really well, so I'm glad you're here. It's a future me. This is for you. Okay. Thanks. You can decline if you have to. Okay. Oh my god, Duke's like, what is that? What is that? Is that a thing for me? With sympathy. <laughs> it's a really weird card. Oh, oh my god! Yes! <laughs> With sympathy! You can decline it's if you see a card! <laughs> card. I'm so like, what? Joe, for this. Yes. Please. Oh my god, I love Monica Pinnadeff. on the wedding day because I can't be hyped I'm not hyped to the high heavens. <laughs> I'm hyping. So this is why I needed to, okay. I fully invited myself over. Oh my god, this is so fun. Love you. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's so nice. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so honoured. I had to. You put me on your manifestation list. Did you tell me that too? Yeah, I was like, yeah. this one manifested things. Yeah. And now it's bitten you in the bum because you now have a million weddings. But you know what? It's all nice things. It's all, nice. It's all good things. Great, that is so cute. My manifestation list works. It really works. You're magical. <laughs> no, no. This is so thoughtful. How cute is that? Yeah. Tray eggs or stay rocket. Okay. Amelia wants to vlog. <laughs> I feel like I knew I was getting engaged today. <laughs> And it, like, I feel like those girls that know, that then were like, I knew it, I knew it, you know? I <laughs> you said this morning, I said, to. if Susie doesn't ask me to be a bridesmaid today, I will literally eat my, like, Did I- Did you actually say that? Yeah, I said it on my vlog. I was like, I, I feel like I'm it. getting proposed to bridesmaid edition today. Like, I have an inkling. Well, I'm so glad that we both, me and you have both been in the same boat. We've both been like, I think I'm being proposed to, and we've both been right. <laughs> the card threw me. I was like, did I get this all wrong? Like, the card threw happening? everyone. The card threw me. <laughs> that was a little loophole you got there, because she was being so obvious about it to me. She was like, I need to see you. <laughs> and I was like, Right. It will all make sense. Please let me see you. I'm it's coming just, over. It will make sense when I see you. And I was like, Oh, it all makes sense now. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to have you with me. I literally, I think I said I'm at the start scream. of this vlog. I'm going to lose my voice. <laughs> I'm gonna... You know what's going to be great? You know what's going to be so good? Is helping you pee at your wedding. Oh my God. And I, I may need help. You will, you will need, need help. help. You, it's a front, we've been there before. It's a front on situ. <laughs> You know, it's a body, body, back of toy. Well, don't worry. I, can't I wait. got you. you can I got you. I got you. That I is what I am. Here I for. love that you know. I, I don't know, know anything. <laughs> I'm useless. It's all good. You are not only the hype, but you're also like you actually have already been the wedding support a lot throughout. Like I'm like, so is this what is? How do I do this? I don't know what to do. And you're just like, I'm, I'm pro. I know what I'm doing. Content support. Everything. 
No, I actually can't. No, I can't wait no, for us to get ready be so on my fun. wedding day. I can't wait for the hen do. Oh my god, do you know what we need? We need a getting ready playlist. <laughs> we need we need a getting ready playlist. We do. We need that. I can't wait. Oh I my said, god, I'm gonna be I said to all of them, I was like, I can't imagine getting ready for my wedding without Amelia. Like the hype. The good vibes. You are the queen of good vibes. That's so nice. I can't. I We're can't gonna have do it getting you. ready is going to be the best part. No yeah. offense, Ryan. Yeah. No, <laughs> if, you, if you had said no, I don't know what I'd be doing. I actually think I'd just. I'm sweating cancel. so much. Sorry. Yeah, she's, it's just she's very clammy. emotional. <laughs> I think I'd cancel the wedding I'm really if you could. Yeah. Do you know what the first thing I did when we got our date was message Amelia and Victoria and be like. Are you free? It's happening. Are you it's free? Happening. Please put date in your diary. Are you free? Do you have Amelia? Do you have another wedding? No. Stunning. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about the shaky. Hold my hand, the oh, my hand now. Ever. Uh Thank you. Oh my god, so fun. <laughs> I'm a bridesmaid, guys. She's a bridesmaid. Oh sweet baby. You're so cute. Good morning. So bridesmaids have been secured. I am so happy, so relieved. I was weirdly nervous to ask some of them. That might sound really silly, but yeah, I was nervous. I know this is making my hair look greasy by the way, but trust the process. It will dry in a minute. So all of my abroad wedding bridesmaids and now secured i actually i am having a different bridesmaid for my uk wedding and i actually didn't think that i would get to ask her in person because i didn't think i'd be seeing her it turns out i'm actually seeing her this weekend but i've already asked her on facetime so that one's a little bit underwhelming so my cousin is going to be my uk wedding bridesmaid but she is not in the vlog and i feel really sad about it i actually just didn't realize that she would because she's at uni i didn't realize she would be back in october and that i'd actually get to see her which is a bit annoying but it's fine it's annoying because i didn't do her locket in time so i thought that was going to be more of a like christmas situation so that's a bit annoying but everyone has been asked everyone's happy i'm happy and now we can start planning the hen which i actually just never thought I'd have one. But yeah, the group chat is about to be activated and it's basically just my, gonna be my dream girls trip. Oh God, do you know when you just start doing something to your hair and you just wish you hadn't started? Cause I actually don't think I'm doing this very well. I lost my comb and it just would have made doing this hairstyle a hundred times easier. That's gonna have to do. It's hair wash day. We're just working with what we've got. I am just going to go in with a light layer of the Lumine bronzer today because my skin is really angry. I used my Skin and Me a couple of nights in a row and I actually forgot to apply moisturizer after, which I really need to do now that the dosage has been upped and it's it's not good. This area around my mouth gets super, super angry. Yeah, it's not, it's not a pretty sight, it's very, red and a bit sore so i've just put on so much moisturizer like the la roche posay is it the cicaplast is a thick layer has gone over there with my shiseido hydrating moisturizer underneath as well and my shiseido serum and i have put a hefty layer of spf on to make sure it's nice and like well protected so yeah i'm just not gonna do too much in terms of skin and makeup today but we're gonna go for a little bronze so today i am going to go to the house and just check on the progress with the bathroom i'm going to save it for next week because i think you're gonna get the full bathroom reveal next week i think it's gonna be done yeah i'm gonna save it hopefully it will be even like painted as well by the end of next week i mean we'll see i'm also just having one of those days today where i feel like i need to be left alone to just sit in silence which sounds really weird but this happens sometimes if i get a little bit like overwhelmed and it's just been a bit of a busy week this week the to-do list is long in terms of like house reno stuff wedding stuff i'm also just feeling a little bit stressed because we still have not booked our flights to bali which is a very long story but we actually weren't sure of our flight situation because there were potential other shows that popped up so we literally have been on standby 
for weeks now unable to book our flights and yeah we still haven't we still haven't booked our flights and we're meant to be leaving at the end of the month so i am feeling i'm feeling things i don't know what i'm feeling like i said i am feeling the need to just have a very quiet day today so i think that is what i am going to be doing so i hope you enjoyed coming along for this week's vlog and seeing me propose to my bridesmaids i really hope you enjoyed it even if you didn't enjoy it i am just like this is like the nicest video to watch back in the future i think it's going to be amazing i think the whole documentation of the kind of the next year on my channel it's not only for you but it's also just a really nice thing for me to also have documented so yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this and if there is anything else that you want to see wedding wise just let me know a few of you have already made really really great suggestions for types of content that you would like to see and like things that i can include so for example like venues that didn't make the cut stuff like that i think would actually be really great on shorts and tiktok so let me know if there's any like videos that you want in particular that you like like chatty stuff that's more in depth or if you just want me to vlog a little bit of everything and kind of bring you along very naturally but i hope you're all having the best week and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye